Hello and welcome to the Sour Fang Guide from LearnToPlayWorld.com. This can turn out to be a long battle with few tactics. What's most important about this encounter is that the longer the battle lasts, the stronger Sour Fang gets and the weaker your raid becomes. Why is that? What increases his survivability? He heals himself through various methods while killing other people. Typical Death Knight behavior. Possibly the most important ability he has is Mark of the Fallen Champion. The player under the effect of the mark will take damage as if hit by Saurfang himself. That is why the tank isn't going to take too much damage, but the people who get this debuff will. If a player dies from the mark, then Saurfang gets healed for 5%. The boss has blood power. It's just like runic power, only it's called blood power. So when Saurfang reaches 100 blood power, he casts the mark. Saurfang increases his blood power through damage dealt by Blood Boil and Blood Nova. Thus, we can notice a pattern. Players take damage from Blood Boil and Blood Nova. Saurfang gets blood power. The more blood power Saurfang gets, the more damage he does. At 100 blood power he casts Mark of the Fallen Champion and then his blood power goes back to zero. The more marks your raid has on it, the more damage it takes. Two or three marks aren't such a big deal to heal, but after a couple more pile up, there comes a point when your healers just can't manage anymore. People start dying, Saurfang gets healed, a wipe is in sight. Well, what can you do? First things first. Try to diminish the amount of blood power Saurfang gets from Blood Boil and Blood Nova. Blood Boil can be healed true, but using Ice Block, Divine Shield and especially the Priest's Power Word Shield can reduce the damage and thus the amount of blood power gained by Saurfang. Blood Nova damages the player and everyone around him. Players getting damage from Blood Nova will make Saurfang generate blood power so ranged should stay spread out at 12 yards plus. Then you should also assign healers for the marks, which healer takes the first mark, which healer takes the second, and so on. Paladins with beacon are golden here, as they can heal two targets at the same time. Not to be neglected are the other healers. The damage is predictable, so druids should place hots on the affected targets while keeping up theirs. Just the same, shamans should chain heal while healing with their assigned mark. Ticking damage can be avoided by using paladin or mage immunities. However, these do not remove the effect. Not even death removes the effect, so don't combat rest those killed by the mark. Healers are important in this battle, but you shouldn't go in with more than 6 or you will have too few DPS. In the beginning, there is little healing needed, so some of the healers can try to do a bit of relaxed, mana-efficient DPS. You should use a second tank to switch aggro from the main tank when the main tank gets debuffed with Rune of Blood. Rune of Blood heals Saurfang. Also, since Saurfang does only physical damage, mages can use Amplify Magic. Saurfang has more than one way of healing himself. He will spawn blood beasts. Think of them as blood worms from a blood decay. When they hit a player, Saurfang gets healed by a fairly significant amount. Don't neglect hits coming from these blood beasts. They need to be kited and killed. In order to make sure they are not getting aggro on the melee when they spawn, you need to have ranged gain aggro on them immediately. They have 75% reduction to AoE, but it helps to have a ranged designated caster using mass AoE to get the initial aggro. Warriors should delay the use of whirlwind and paladins should delay the use of divine storm for a couple of seconds after the initial spawn. Ranged should kite and single target them down, but at the same time they should stop DPS and just run away when the blood beasts are getting too close. 
you should also use straps and totems to help with the kiting. At 30% HP, Saurfang will go into a frenzy. This means extra damage on the tank and on everyone with the mark. Use Bloodlust Heroism at this point. This has been a guide from learntoplaywo.com. Thanks for watching.